Good morning adventurers. It is stupid o'clock in the morning. It is Saturday and we are making our way down the still slumbering high street in Guildford, uh, perhaps hungover from Friday evening's frivolities for all we know. Regardless, we're making our way to the Guildford train station and off to our next exciting destination. Where is that, you may ask? Well, if you've read the title of the video, you know. If you haven't, stay tuned for an exciting surprise. Welcome to Cardiff, and for our first stop, we're going to take you into the Cardiff Castle, which is the location of Adventure Lab stops and a virtual cache. Now that we're through the main portcullis, we spy a monkey waiting for us ever so patiently. So after paying admission to come inside the castle grounds, we're first going to check out the Cardiff Castle House. Okay, so which of these books has the geocache log in it? So while there's no geocaches or adventure labs on the grounds, there are a couple that take you to the front gate that you can get anytime and without having to pay admission, which is a bonus. But it's worth coming in here and just checking it all out. So we'll show you around some of the cool stuff that's worth seeing in Cardiff Castle. So now we'll head up the hill to the most famous part, the keep, up on the top of an artificially built hill around 1000 AD. We'll check this out. There's 
is the view from the highest point here in the keep. So after exploring the castle, we've now headed over to Butte Park. I'm probably horribly messing up the name of the park here, but anyways, it's the park beside the castle. And there are a few caches and adventure lab stops here. We just did a really interesting earth cache. And now we've done a fun where I go, which is allowing us to find the cache. So there are two adventure labs that are easily findable within the downtown main area of Cardiff and one of them will take you to a number of historical locations and we've done that one with you or done a few of the spots of that one with you. We're not going to of course give it all away but the other one is fairly centered in front of City Hall in a nice little park with a number of statues and there's some remarkable history behind some of the people commemorated by the statues here in Cardiff. So definitely worth checking that out. So once again, geocaching as our tour guide brings us to somewhere where we might not have gone and learned what we did. But caching Cardiff makes us crave the ice cap. They sell ice caps. <laughs> oh. oh no. So there's a Tim Hortons in Wales, in Cardiff, but... It's not the same. Why is that? There's, their ice caps are not the same. As in they don't have them. That's sad. And while definitely dealing with dietary disappointment, we still left Cardiff with some amazing memories of the captivating castle and beautiful settings you can find when you let geocaching be your tour guide to the capital of Wales. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with your friends and subscribe today because there is plenty more fun coming up as we take you on more geocaching travel adventures. <laughs>